Turning now to your community focus, what was formerly known as the Rhode Island Black and Latino Caucus has now expanded and it has a new name. That's right. Joining us now is the chair of the Black, Latino, Indigenous, Asian American and Pacific Islander Caucus, Representative Leonella Felix. Thanks for your time. Oh, thank you for having me. So you guys just voted um, earlier this month on this new name. Why was it so important to change the name of the caucus? Yeah, for us, is Rhode Island is such a diverse place with people from all walks of life uh, making the Ocean State their home. And the General Assembly is now reflecting that diversity. And for us, it was extremely important that the name feel inclusive for the new members, for future members, and the community, so that they know that this is a place to advocate for the issues that they care about and using the collective power of advocacy. Mm -hmm. And so what are some of the big legislative priorities for the caucus this year? Yeah, so at this time we haven't decided. So we are actually meeting on March 9th, mm -hmm. and collectively we will talk about the proposals that the members will want uh, the caucus to consider, and then we will take a vote, and we hope to make that public uh, later in the month. How do you think the General Assembly is doing in terms of diversity? I believe there's 21 members of your caucus. Is that enough? It's never enough. Hmm. Well, uh, for me, it's uh, we need uh, additional diversity. We bring a different perspective than many of our colleagues, different lived experiences. That is really important in terms of being able to address the inequities that our communities face. And the only way that we can do that is by bringing our experience. So that's why I say it's never enough hmm. uh, in terms of encouraging folks to run for office and to seek uh, elected positions. You talk about lived experience. Uh, you and fellow state rep Sherry Cruz have made some national headlines recently uh, because you both know firsthand what it's like to have a criminal history and then try to move forward from that. What kind of perspective does that give you as a lawmaker? Yeah, thank you for the question. Um, for me, it's in being able to, um, it's valuable to be able to educate my colleagues in terms of the issues that for many is just whether educational or related to their work. And it is this perspective that allows us to be able to be effective advocates for these issues. So for example, we just passed the most comprehensive cannabis, recreational cannabis legislation in the nation. And that was because I was able to bring my perspective in dealing with these expungement processes mm -hmm. and, and teaching my colleagues that it's not as easy as it sounds to get an expungement in Rhode Island and elsewhere. So it was important to bring these perspectives and be able to make those changes and ultimately it, it worked. We've got about just 15 seconds left, but I have to ask you something very important. I saw on your Twitter that you've never had coffee milk before. <laughs> have you rectified that situation, Rep? I have rectified it, but I'm sad to say it's not my favorite. Oh. <laughs> All so. right. Well, you have to give it another try, I guess. Thank you so much for being here. Representative Leonella Felix, thank you so much. Oh, thank you for having me. And looking ahead to later this week when Education Commissioner Angelica Infante Green will be joining us in studio for our monthly conversation with her that's coming up right here on Wednesday on 12 News now at four.